how many pairs of integers a and b are possible such that a square minus b square is 288 it's an absolutely fabulous question mainly because you have to get up the idea right and then build on it be very very careful about details and so the first thing here is pairs of integers you remember that not natural numbers so we'll have to worry about positive and negative right? let's get to the question a square minus b square is 288 or a minus b into a plus b is 288 so you have to somehow break 288 as a product of two numbers let's break it as a product of two natural numbers we'll worry about the integer part later on let's find out the answers for a and b when a and b are natural numbers then we'll see if we can extrapolate it to integers and so, so 288 should be written as a product of two numbers so we need to factorize 288 and think about how many factors are there for 288 right? so 288 is 144 into 2 or 2 power 4 into 3 square into 2 or 2 power 5 into 3 square this has 18 factors so there are nine different ways of writing it down as a product of two numbers right? how do we know 18 factors 5 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 this plus 1 into this plus 1 any number you are given if you know the prime factorization you should know how many factors the number has you should know that formula if you don't revisit that learn, learn that formula now, once you know how many factors are there there are 18 factors they can be paired up in nine ways right? let's write down the nine ways this can be written as 1 into 288 2 into 144 3 into 96 4 into 72 6 into 48 we can write it as 8 into something, 8 into, what are we left with, 9 into 4, 8 into 36, then 9 into 32, next multiple possible is 12 into, we can write this as 12 into 24, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we need to have one more, 16 into 18 2 power 4 into 2 into 3 square right? just listing all of these down mo mostly trial and error but i know i'm looking for nine such pairs because we know there are 18 factors so the rigor part comes in there right? now once we know this we're pretty much done and right? 1 into 288 2 into 144 3 into 96 the moment we write it down like this that means this can be a pair what does that mean like that think about it it's a very very simple very important point sitting here 1 into 288 obviously between these two a minus b should be the smaller number a plus b should be the larger number remember we are thinking about natural numbers we will extrapolate the whole numbers later on or sorry now integers later on so a minus b into a plus b this has to be 1 into 288 not 288 into 1 that much we know the difference between two numbers is 1 sum of two numbers is 288 the two numbers are natural numbers is this possible think about we have any two numbers if sum of the two numbers is even the difference will also be even if some of the two numbers is odd difference will also be odd so if i have a minus b is 1 and a plus b is 288 and i solve this i subtract this i get 2a is 289 then a is 289 by 2 that is not an integer if sum of two numbers is odd then difference is also odd if diff sum of two numbers is even the difference is also even so if you're doing a minus b into a plus b is 288 Either both should be odd or both should be even. Both cannot be odd. So, we are looking only for the pairs where both are even. So, 1 into 288, out. 3 into 96, out. 9 into 32, out. These three pairs are out. So, we, we have to get 2 into 144, 4 into 72, 6 into 48, 8 into 36, 12 into 24, 16 into 18. So, now these are the possible pairs for a minus b and a plus b within positive integers with assuming a and b are natural numbers right? now we finally we will have to extrapolate it to become integers also we will come to that later on let's work with natural numbers let's say a minus b is 2 a plus b is 144 if we add these two we get 2a is 146 or a is 73 a minus b is 2 or b should be 71 so for this pair if a minus b were 2 and a plus b were 144 then you would get a is 73 b is 71 if you're solving within natural numbers 
then 73 comma 71 works. Right? Now, now let's extrapolate it to integers. Now we know that for each of these we'll get one pair like this. Now, when we go to integers, what does what happens there? 73 comma 71 can work. 73 comma minus 71 can work. Minus 73 comma 71 can work. Minus 73 comma minus 71 can work. So there's not just one pair, but there are four pairs of numbers that are possible. A is 73, B is 71 satisfies this condition, but then plus minus minus plus minus minus all of them will satisfy. So for A minus B is 2, A plus B is 144. This combination we get one pair of natural numbers, four pairs of integers. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 pairs of natural numbers or 24 pairs of integers that we get. It's a fabulous, fabulous question. It's a wonderful question because there are multiple ideas here. We'll, I'm going to just quickly recap all the ideas. A square minus B square is 288. A minus B into A plus B is 288. So I need to write 288 as a product of two numbers. So I factorize, prime factorize 288, find out how many factors are there, how many ways are there of writing it down, write all of those down. Next idea, we know that if A minus B is odd, A plus B is odd. If A minus B is even, A plus B is even. So we know that in this case, A minus B and A plus B both have to be even numbers. Otherwise, we will, we will not be able to get natural number values for A and B. So three sets of multiples disappear. 1 into 288, 3 into 96, 9 into 32. These three are not possible solutions. The remaining six remain. For each of those six pairs, in natural numbers, there's one set of values. But when you go from natural number to, to integers, when, when you make that step when we say negatives are also possible, each possibility in natural numbers gives us four possibility in integers. So therefore, for six pairs, we'll get 24 possible values. Absolutely fabulous question. Wonderful question to get the idea, concept and keep in mind this rigor. So in your exam context, remember every adjective there stands for something. We told positive integers, negative integers, natural numbers, whole numbers, non-negative integers. Each of those means something. Each of those will limit your answer in some way. So keep an eye on that detail. That detail is very, very, very important.